new star season alpha 3.23 ep2 patch just dropped not too long ago this time around for wave 2 testers that's evo wave 1 and wave 2 testers for features and gameplay under the ai category they did add more variety to outlaw npc loadouts and i've been hearing that the npc ai has actually been deadly especially the the ones in ships so i'm really curious to seeing this myself under gameplay they did a water vfx wake improvement they've added control of the wake width based on the bounding box of the ship added a strength offset for the vfx effect to trigger and it says master mode spool times they've done a spool time balance pass as well they've added g-force on and off keybind moby glass interior map polish pass has also been done they've also increased ammo for the vandal weapons increased bullet velocity for vandal cannons for ships and vehicles under master mode they made slight max angular velocity to scorpius and scorpius and taurus to match the flight archetype they also made adjustments to the cutlass black blue red and steel to match the flight archetype after recent changes changed the stats under core tech they made further server performance improvements as well as further client performance optimizations as well as herson ocean performance optimizations there's a few bug fixes as well with this one they um they fixed an issue where mouse cursor is invisible while using interaction mode moby glass and shop kiosk they also fixed an issue where ui does not update automatically but updates once when untracking then tracking the contract again they also fix an issue where after server recovers the player receives a disconnected for being inactive for too long message and is disconnected they also fix an issue where the toggleable flight hud elements are virtually indistinguishable from on or off in all manufacturer palettes they also fix an issue where there are no icons for jump point stations at the system wide zoom level they also fix an issue where vehicles present in hangars are impounded or stored after server recovery they also fix another issue where handheld tractor beams will instantly deactivate when attempting to move items another issue where when jumping to a target in route it can be tricky and impossible to select the next target in that route they also fix an issue where loadout is identical to the harbinger rather than the expected loadouts so now this is for the sentinel and um, they also fix an issue where combat ai can shoot players at any angle before turning to them they also fix another issue where defender leaving their cover when they're Cover is still best this is for ai fps they also fix an issue where players bodies despawn after death outside of armistice zone and they've fixed another issue where entering a shift pilot seat from eva causing the player to enter into a standing pose momentarily they fix an issue where the new player experience is using an incorrect loadout another issue where wielding a weapon with a scope can cause intense lens flare they also fix an issue where neutral territories does not make the inhabitants hostile to trespassers they also fix another issue where ship computer dialogue stops triggering and stops being audible once the ship has been powered off then back on again another issue has been fixed where the sfx events on audio triggers in mannequin inc inconsistently unpredictably play audio across all player animations they also fixed an issue that was causing rifle scope reticles to blur while moving along with this is five client crashes five server crashes two vulcan specific client crash and a client deadlock fix in addition to this they also made some updates to arena commander for vehicle balance they fixed an issue that causes the a2 core health to be significantly lower than intended in regards to fuses they fixed an issue where the wrong fuse type was in the player's inventory in game mode adjustments for engineering duel and squadron battle it says here to better allow teams to prepare for the upcoming fight increase the team 
balance pre-game phase from 10 seconds to 15 seconds. They've increased the game start countdown from 10 seconds to 30 seconds and movement and interaction had been enabled in the pre-game. Player will no longer auto-equip their primary weapon. For game mode bug fixes, they fix an issue that causes the engineering duel to end prematurely. They fix an issue that causes suicide to win. They also fix another issue that causes the match cycle to fail. They also fix another issue that causes players to lose flight UI in the PU after playing in Arena Commander Engineer mode. It also says here the team is also working on enabling VoIP across Arena Commander. This may be enabled mid patch that's pretty interesting i think that's important especially if you have other people on your team that is not a part of your party so it'll be really good to be able to communicate with them as well you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next video